Yeah, uh, uh, see this ball? This ball is part of a murder investigation. Anybody messes with this ball, you go to jail. Perdón por mi amigo, eh, pero si alguien toca la bola, eh, que no la toque, ¿ok? Gracias. What's wrong with you? Jeff? Jeff? What? Homework. Yeah, I know I finished. All of it? What part of finished is confusing to you? Hmm. So, uh... What you guys talking about? Like you haven't been listening. Is that the dead woman you guys found? No, that's another woman. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the woman we found. Oh, cool. What happened to her head? Okay, this goes bye-bye. Should I offer you a beer? No, and I even asked nicely. I'll get it. No, you won't, because he won't be here long enough. He was just about to get to the reason why he came and then leave. You go upstairs and do your homework. Oh, my gosh, I just told you. For real this time. Sorry about the beer. Protocol. Yeah, it's not exactly protocol weather out there. I know this guy. It's Dennis Peterson. Okay. You don't know Dennis Peterson? All right, later. Later. Be good. All right, you too. Hey, Callie. Sweet dreams. Sure. Sweet dreams. Why'd you stop? Got me the local traffic law. Shh. Hear that? Well, the dogs don't bark in this town. Who? Funny. Real funny. <laughs> Some say I don't play well with others. Thank you for coming. It meant a lot to me. Fun dance? You dance? I dance. Not well. I dance. <laughs> sure. Actually, I do need something else. You're gonna get that uh, list of the items that were stolen? Sure, right away. It's a nice car. Grab a beer. I'm fine, thanks. Hey. You busy? Very, as you can see. Alone? Yeah. Jeff wants to invite you and Josie over for dinner. He seems to think that she's your new girlfriend. I think it's a terrible idea. What? Invite yourself for dinner or Josie be my new girlfriend? Both. I'm confused. Are we just friends? I mean, are. I know what you said, so... What do you want? I don't know. Okay, that's a lie. I, I do know. Okay. Let's hear it. seats really in florida yeah what there's a couple of days in winter where it gets pretty cold oh cold cold yeah cold right that must be a southern thing you wouldn't last a day in chicago <laughs> are you done thanks for driving me no problem the second you said ocala i was in i love this part of the state and i never get up here anymore anymore I was a hot walker, an exercise girl, when I was 19 one summer in Ocala. Oh, I bet you were a hot walker. 
A hot walker helps the horse wind down after exercise. Do you know anything at all about horses? Well, yeah. I can usually get the front and back end, right? Okay, thoroughbreds have to be conceived under natural live cover. There's no... Is that the last guy that screwed you out of a horse auction? <laughs> this is Sam. He's actually helping me with my anatomy midterm next week, which, because of you, I'm behind in. Yeah, I kind of wanted to apologize to you for that. The cop, you tell me. Well, it means there's more to the story than meets the eye. Yeah, a lot more. But you're the cop and a man. Oh, a man. Women weren't allowed on pirate ships. We were considered bad luck. So we have to start thinking like a man. Who's a cop? I thought you had to study for your final. I know. Yes, I am. But I saw this book, and I just I couldn't stop thinking about it. Johnny Hasker couldn't let it go either. So how do you find it? Well, if I were a man, or a cop, mm -hmm. I'd try and tackle it like a murder investigation. By irritating as many people as possible until someone finally confesses? No, by going back to the people behind the mystery, finding out their relationship to one another, then how they all ended up at the wrong place at the right time. Really? It's that easy? Oh, yeah. Once you work out a person's profile, it's really easy to predict how they're going to react. Like, for instance, you're going to realize you're still annoyed with me and leaving a huff. Right. I'm that predictable. But I do have to go. I'm not in a huff, just like a regular go. This is out all week, so don't lose it or get anything on it. And thank you so much for lunch. I'm paying for lunch? Mm -hmm. And you're welcome for the book. Hey, thanks for the book. Yeah. Carbon test of the dagger dates it from the mid 18s. Bacon. I love bacon. And coffee. And eggs. And fresh juice. You squeezed fresh juice. I did. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> mm. Sorry. Mm. I need to get that. It could be Jeff. Mm. I should probably get it. Hello. Hey, baby. Ray, uh, how did you get straight through? I tried you a couple times before they moved me. Uh, I've been in IC for the last two days. I figured you might have tried me back. Ray, what did you do? I miss you. And I miss you, little man, so much. I mean, when he snuck up, a little dangerous. You say what the new lead was? She wouldn't tell me. Look, I'm late for court, so unless you want to arrest me. No. Thanks. Maybe later. Yeah. Hey, Carlos. Hey. Uh, listen, I wanted to apologize for the way I reacted this morning. No, I'm sorry. I, I kind of just sprung that on you at work, no less. So no harm, no foul. Wow. I got off way too easy. Huh. That's weird. What's weird? I never like my car at work. Hang on a sec. Jim? Jim! Are you here. kidding me? Fine. You're losing it, Colleen. Oh, a bomb shreds my lead detective's car. The same guy that you bugged while he's investigating oh, a murder shit. of a woman that you were stalking? And I'm not supposed to think you know anything about it? Fine. Fine! But it's not what you think. Last summer, a CI told me he saw Olivia and Kaye Ocho asking questions about her dad's murder. So I reached out, told her I had some new leads. Do you? Or is that a lie, too? Half a lie. <laughs> Recycled some old intel. I tried to flip her on Eduardo, but she refused. Get to the car bomb part yet? Hey, are you okay? I just caught a little glass. I'll be fine. Hey, Ballard, what's up? Did you break into my car? I did, yeah. 
Found the receiving end of the bug you planted on me, which damn near got me killed. Garcia didn't bomb your car. If he did, we'd still be hosing you out of the parking lot. Saldivar's who you should be looking at. Really? And with your ordinance training and all your ATF undercover work, you tell me why I shouldn't be looking at you. Because I'm no cop killer. I may bend the rules, sure. But I'm not about to throw away 10 years of building a case against the Cuban mob for this guy. <laughs> no offense. Hey, none taken. So here's how it's gonna be. You're gonna give us everything you got on both families right here, right now. The bug I plan to stalk your ass, you're gonna need an autopsy to find him. And it better be the good stuff, or my next call will be to IA. I completely forgot to call you back. Yeah. No, it's fine. I'm just, I'm glad you're okay. I mean, you scared the crap out of me. I know, I'm sorry. I'm fine, though. Really. Daniel, can you pull this flash up in my office? You got it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't call you back. No, it's fine. I mean, don't be ridiculous. This is. Hey, about earlier, listen, I know Jeff needs his dad. And I know the only way this is going to happen is if Ray gets a fresh start. So, whatever you feel you need to do to make that work. I get it. Thank you. That's that's all I'm talking about. So why did you tell us he was with your former sitter? I was just afraid to tell you that I left him with my 24-year-old boyfriend. It's just sometimes I run out of options and I need somebody to watch Cody and he's always willing to help. Well, I don't believe you. Oh, that from a sandal. Yeah. yeah. Pretty annoying to admit sometimes, but he's pretty damn good at this. It wasn't like that, Detective. Doug and I were fine for a while. Uh, do we need a warrant? Take that as a no. Exigent circumstances. She's dead. Oh. <laughs> oh, really? What? That was funny. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> no, that's funny. I couldn't see. The lights are out. Must have been a power outage. Hey, the human block. I mean, I have my own trepidations. You're not the only person who feels like they've been left hanging in mid-air. Oh, my God. Jimmy, you okay? Uh, yeah. Hunter snare. You are going to cut me down, right? I'm thinking about it. I don't have a knife. You mean something like uh, this? what I had planned in either. Uh, hey, thanks for calling the Coast Guard. The backup really came in handy. Yeah. Actually, no, no, no. I don't need an ambulance. Yeah, you do. Have you seen the cut on no, your head? No, it's just a bump. No, it's a gash on your head, and it's bleeding profusely, so you're going to go to the doctor and get stitches and an MRI and whatever else he wants to do. Hey, uh, how did you know I was in trouble? Kidding. I tried calling you like eight times, left three messages. Well, what was so important you needed to call eight times? Uh, I mean, I thought you were avoiding me. I wasn't avoiding you. I just, I just wanted to wait till things settled. Settled? Yeah. Uh, Jeff and I went to see his dad this week. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we had the talk. Yeah, and it wasn't easy. And Jeff's still struggling with it, but it's, um, it's official. I filed for divorce.
I'm drinking a lot of that. Mm-hmm. Bottoms up. Call Daniel and get you a ride home, okay? Will do. Decorates my face, it's true. Ooh. Ooh. I set my soul to sleep beneath your shoes. Lord knows I'm tired. Thinking about you, you, thinking about you, you, you. It don't take a champion to talk about how to land. Yourself in chalk, world like hell instead of walk. Thank you. In a cold and mercenary field, plowed bare by reinvented wheels, the broken bones you can't conceal. Mr. Flight. I uh I heard about the offer. Congratulations, by the way. No, I didn't miss it. I didn't get on it. I knew that if I went, they would offer me this amazing opportunity, and I didn't want to explain to them or anyone else why I was turning them down. You turn them down? I can't be in Atlanta and be here at the same time, and I need to be here. You do? Yeah, my life's here and Jeff's life here, and you're here. Maybe it took having a gun to my head for me to realize this, but I don't want to lose that. I don't want to walk away from something before I had a chance to get it right. You want to get it right? Yeah, I want to get it right. So you're staying? Yeah, yeah, I'm staying. The dried foam on the backseat of Jay's car wasn't aspirated after a drowning. It was vomit. Is the DNA match Cassandra's? No, but it's definitely from a close relative, most likely Brooke, given her history of getting drunk and being rescued by Jay. Any luck locating Cassandra's car? Uh, not yet, but then. Oh, nice. Great. Mm. Oh. Mm. We're almost there. Yeah, just keep walking before we get attacked by piranhas or something. Uh, piranhas in the Amazon? All right, yeah, fine. You did such a good job gauging the depth of the stream. Now you're some expert on flesh-eating fish. Just stick to solving crimes, OK? Because... Are you OK? Are you laughing? No, no, I, no, no. I'm not laughing. Yeah. 
fine. It's not hot anymore. <laughs> and for the record, I tripped on something. Right. <laughs> something. I tripped on it. It's like one of those folding camping shovels. With a curved edge. I always say we just found the murder weapon. It looks like somebody dropped it in the stream so that nobody would find it. Maybe there's blood trees. Wow, it's been... Mm. And I want to be with the woman I love. And I love you, Callie. And I want you to be in my life today, tomorrow. So... Huh. Kelly Cargill, would you do me the honor of marrying me? Anyone here? Hey, what are you doing here? I I hadn't heard from you. Are, are you okay? Callie? I just... I just want you to know that this is the hardest decision I've ever had to make in my entire life. Cal. And I have worked so hard to get where I am. I know, I know you have. Through raving in prison, through the divorce, Raising Jeff on my own, and I'm I'm doing it. I'm doing what I love. And I want to continue to do what I love for the rest of my life. And I know that if I walk away now, I, I can't. But I also know that if you really love someone and he really loves you, that together you could just you can make it work. So Yes. Yes? Yes, Jim Longworth. I would love to come home and be your wife. I know <laughs> it's hard. I can see in your eyes. But don't you walk away from me? Cause I'm a Dear Jack, well, dear. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why aren't you showered and ready? Why aren't you? Marisol and the girls have taken over all three bathrooms. I figure I got at least two hours before there's even hope for hot water. <laughs> what time should I pick you up? Actually, I'm going to have to meet you there. I got to pick up the keys to the new house and Austin's killer. What about Callie's ring? The best man always holds the ring during the ceremony. Right. Um, the one not from Tiffany's is yours. What's this? Just open it. Wow, they're, they're amazing. Thanks. No, thank you, Carlos, for always having my back. Since the day I got here, you've always been my best man. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yep. Oh, and uh, Ixnay on the dream house save? Lips are sealed. Go, 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 go. Finally got it hidden, the watermark. Cutting it way too close. Call him back. All right, Carlos, I'm coming, I'm coming. Blair? Is that you? 